I'm just going to tie it on there really, really tight so it doesn't fall off. Allison Michaelis is attaching a small instrument cluster to a latex weather balloon. She and Chad Hecht have been at the end of Scripps Pier since midday Monday, doing this every three hours. Three, two, one. With that simple release, a latex weather balloon begins its journey upward. Just a minute or so after the helium-filled balloon began climbing, it was already sending data back. Data about the atmospheric river bringing rain to San Diego. Michael says researchers want to know more about the storm systems responsible for much of the region's rain. We're able to get an idea of what is going on inside these cloudy areas that we can't see otherwise. The balloon swells as it rises, growing to the size of a school bus before it finally bursts. A small parachute allows the instruments to take measurements on the way down. Some of our recent launches overnight got up to about 23,000 meters. And so we're gathering temperature data, uh, moisture data, uh, wind data, wind direction and wind speed all the way. But that's not the only way the team is collecting information on the water-laden storm. Meteorologist Chad Hecht says an Air Force plane has been flying above the system over the Pacific Ocean. We launched a balloon from the ground up. They're dropping uh, instrumentation from the air to the ocean surface. Uh, and they're doing that every, say, 100 nautical miles or so, uh, about 25 times in a single flight for each flight lasting about eight hours. And what this research will do, it will allow scientists to better understand these storm systems so that they can predict when they'll happen. They'll be able to say how intense they are, and they'll be able to gauge the impact on land. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.